Hi, welcome to this brief video tutorial on how to get visitors feedback with a free plugin in WordPress. I am Partha Bhattacharya, founder of HubSkills.com, the destination for tips and resources for web startup businesses. If you have a web business, you would surely be interested to know what the visitors feel when they come to your site. It is important to make things easy for the visitors to give their feedbacks. In a previous video, we have seen how to install voicemail system in your WordPress blog. And in this video, we will look at installing a feedback form in WordPress with a free plugin. The free plugin is User Noise Model Feedback Form. Let me first show how it works. Here in HubSkills website, I have the feedback button on the right. Let me click on it. As you can see, this model form opens on an overlay. Let me fill in some information and also an email address here. OK. Let me click this button to send the feedback. And now I am informed that my feedback has been sent. Pretty sleek and fast. I have this feedback form on all pages of my site. So the visitors can contact me from any page they land on. Let's now look at how the plugin is installed. This is the Install Plugins page in my WordPress admin. I come here by clicking the Add New link under the Plugins on the left pane. I will now search for the term User Noise. There is only one search result and this is the plugin I have used. You would see Install Now link here for new installation. You will click the link and then activate it so that the plugin is ready for use like here in this blog. When you install the plugin for the first time, it will prompt with a message for enabling it and confirm the settings. You can also access the plugin from the link User Noise under Settings. Let me go to the Settings page. Here are four tabs that you will have to set according to your needs. In the general settings, you will need to enable user noise by clicking this checkbox. Check this box if you want powered by user noise link in the nodal window. At this time, I don't want to disable the plugin on mobile devices, so I keep this unchecked. The button tab allows me to position the feedback button and also change things like the button text, color, background color, etc. Next, the form tab is about how you want the feedback form to be. These are simple to understand and easy to do as needed. Finally, the notifications is where you enable the feedback notification email. After you have made all the changes, save all of that and the feedback system is now ready on your website. Remember that the feedback notifications only inform fresh comments. But to see them, you will have to log in to your admin. User Noise maintains a separate archive of feedbacks received in the admin area. This video will end now. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the top web startup videos that I make time to time. Thanks for watching this video.